Good morning, boys and girls. In science, we are learning about the life cycle of the white-tailed deer. This is the same deer that many of you see in your backyard or down the street by the school. So let's go ahead and take a look. And in your packet, you have some notes. And on our note page, it looks like this. Now, so you can see right here, it says the life cycle of a white-tailed deer. Now, a baby deer is called a fawn. Now, the most obvious way to know a fawn is that they're either sitting or laying in the grass and that they are going to be covered in white spots. In fact, the more white spots you see, the younger the deer is. Now, when they're born, you know that you can see it looks a lot like their parents, and they're dependent on its parents for survival. Let's look at that word dependent. It means that it, it needs their parents to be able to help them find food and protect them from predators, just like you are dependent on your family for them to take care of you. Now, these white spots also serve an important function. They help the white-tailed deer camouflage in its environment from predators. And remember the word camouflage means that the animal is able to blend in to its environment. Now, as the baby deer gets bigger, it's going to become a yearling. A yearling is basically what we consider a teenager. It's between 14 to 18 months of age. It still looks a lot like its mom and dad, but now, as you can see, it's standing and it's starting to lose some of its white spots. Now, a deer is considered an adult when it no longer has white spots. So let's take a look. A male deer, that's a boy deer, when it's an adult, has no spots, can stand on their own. As you can see here, they do have antlers and its coat tends to be reddish brown in the summer and grayish brown in the winter. Again, that's to help the deer camouflage. An adult male deer is called a buck. A female deer, or that's the girl deer, when it's an adult, does not have antlers. You also notice, again, no white spots. Its coat is a reddish brown in the summer and a grayish brown in the winter. And as you can see here, she does have a tail and they use their tail to signal danger and lead its fawns to safety. Now, one thing you're gonna be looking at is a picture of a life cycle. Okay, as you can see here, it goes in a circle. Now, the way to read a life cycle is that you first want to find the baby deer. The baby deer is called a fawn. So I see it right here, fawn, F-A-W-N. And then we're gonna follow the arrows. So the arrows are pointing this way. So we know we read it this way. So we go from a fawn, we become a yearling. And then as we get older, you either become a buck, which again, that's the adult male or adult boy, or you become a girl, which is the adult doe, white-tailed deer. And that is the life cycle of the white-tailed deer. In your packet, you also have an, a reading assignment to do, along with some questions to answer. I'm gonna go ahead and read the assignment to you. The white-tailed deer is tan or brown in the summer, and grayish brown in the winter. They have a white color on their throats, around their eyes and noses, on their stomachs and on the underside of their tails. A female white-tailed deer usually gives birth to one to three baby deer known as fawns. Fawns are reddish brown in color with white spots that protect them from predators. They can walk at birth and will start to get milk from their mothers but will start eating on their own after a few days. Once fawns reach six weeks, um, excuse me, no. Once fawns reach six weeks, they are usually eating on their own. They lose their spots before the winter of their first year and become yearlings. If a fawn is a male, then it will stay with his mom for one year before he turns into a buck. It will grow antlers when it is about two years old. A female fawn typically stays with her mom for two years and then turns into a doe. 
She is ready to have her own baby fawns by the age of two. And here we have some questions. It goes number one, baby deer is known as. So which type from the life cycle are they known as a fawn, yearling, doe, or buck? Number two, what do fawns look like when they are born? Number three, a male deer is known as a blank, while a female is known as a blank. Draw a picture of a buck. Now here, this question, this one's asking, is it a fact or an opinion? Remember, a fact is something that's true. It's something you can prove. Whereas an opinion, that's just what you think of something. Like for instance, if I said, everyone loves chocolate, fact or opinion, that's an opinion. There actually are some people who do not like chocolate. So let's see, is this a fact or is this an opinion? A doe can have baby fawns by the age of two. All right, boys and girls, and that was our quick lesson on the life cycle of the white-tailed deer. Um, if you like, you can watch it again. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying your time at home, getting plenty of rest. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.